Even just last year, it was easy to spot an AI video. The faces looked stiff, the voices and the audio glitched, and the emotions felt a bit off. And you could tell in seconds that it was not real. But now AI videos have gotten so realistic that even trained editors and content creators are getting fooled sometimes. The lip sync is better now, the lighting and the shadows are more natural, and the tone of the voice is sounding more human. That's why in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to spot AI generated videos in 2025 before you get tricked. Because the next wave of online content isn't going to just look real. It's gonna feel real. And if you don't know exactly what to look for, you'll never see the difference. All right, number one, let's go. I deliver food I can't eat to people who don't exist. <laughs> Here we are looking at a pizza man. And if you look closely, the logo on his shirt, pretty good. It says pizza. But if you look below that, the other text is gibberish. So AI is getting better. But when there's a lot of details to do, it can still fall short. So that's one thing to look for. And if you look at the fingers on his right hand, sometimes they kind of blur together, especially when he's moving. Number two, who does number two work for? Yeah, I'm not real, but that's cool. Real is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we have a girl talking, and you know, it has a little bit of realism to it. But if you look at her, just her mouth, the lips are kind of blurry, and they're sort of morphing together and blending with her teeth just a little too much. And they're kind of blending in with their teeth, not staying solid like they should. And the skin on her forehead is just a little too shiny, and the color looks a bit off. Like, look at the top of her forehead, it just looks a little bit too gray, right? It's not an El Greco painting, this is supposed to be real life. And lastly, of course, that cookie is not edible. That looks like a plastic prop or toy. All right, now we got a nighttime scene. Do you have any knowledge of anything that happened before this exact moment? No. I... I can't remember anything. All right, now we have nighttime in the city, and this girl is talking to someone off camera. And what gives it away that this is AI? There's no blinking at all by either of the characters. And AI, of course, is starting to incorporate the blinking, but when they do not, it's a dead giveaway when someone just doesn't blink for 10 seconds or more. That's weird. We are only as real as the pixels on this screen but reality is overrated. Next up, here we go. We have a guy giving a seminar. Maybe it's a self-help thing. And if you visit the desk in the back after the seminar, you have a chance to book a coaching call at me for only $500,000. Buy one, get one, 10% off, right? But yeah, this one's obvious. Why? Well, he looks like a wax figure. If you look at the and if you look at the audience, especially the people in the bottom left, their faces are getting really smudgy. I mean, there's a lot of details there and sometimes the AI cannot keep up when there's too many details. It can, just can't, it just can't render all these faces. And look, look at them clapping. Look at that, look at those hands. Those hands are just starting to blur and morph and merge and melt together. It's not, not even a human hand anymore. The prompts do go pretty fast. No! <laughs> <laughs> Not as fast as the credits. <laughs> All right, this one, instead of just pointing out bad clapping again, I'm gonna show you something even more sinister. I mean, look at the woman's hands on the bottom left. It's normal at first, but then they just merge into one solid blob of what? I don't know. It's stuff of nightmares. <sighs> I'm not procrastinating, I'm buffering emotionally. All right, here we have a student working on homework, but something is a little bit out of place. She's got two pairs of headphones, which, you know, some people are weird, I guess. But then look at her pencil, it's starting to phase through her fingers. It's not following the laws of physics. What is it, a hologram? I searched for help on Stack Overflow. I now know I'm an idiot in 12 different languages. Now this one isn't too difficult either. The giveaway here is her teeth. They start merging together and losing the detail. And the same thing with her forehead. The skin lacks texture and detail. 
Look, videos that could be used in court need to go through a new level of scrutiny. For example, I'm just playing video games here. I am fake after all. <laughs> this is a police officer on his laptop in his car. His hands are a little bit blurry when he moves them and the text on his uniform is not legible. Just a jumble of fake letters. Fake? D H T A. Bro, I stream eight hours a day. Number nine. We have a streamer playing on his computer. He's got a curved monitor, nice office chair. If you look at the office chair, the text also doesn't say anything real. And the gameplay looks a little laggy, which is not weird, but it's a little too laggy. The character in the video game is not consistent. And the last thing that gives it away is, look, he's using his mouse, and then it turns into a controller in his hands, and then it disappears for a second, and then it's a mouse again. The continuity is not there. And of course, what's that he's saying? That isn't any language on this earth. Mmm. Mmm. You can really taste the metadata. All right, here we have two businesswomen or friends having coffee together. And this one's a little more challenging, hard to tell. So one thing is the woman on the right, her expressions just don't make any sense. She's making weird faces the whole time. And the edge is a little bit blurred, the coloring is a bit off, but it is subtle. And if you look in the background of the display, it just looks like chaos there. Like there's a guy's head in there the whole time and the reflections are off. It's good to look at the details in the background for clues, especially when there's a lot of detail. Something is bound to go wrong. Well, hopefully it gets a lot of views so we can make back the <laughs> <laughs> make it back the money for the AI subscriptions. Yeah. All right, so this one is pretty easy. All right, the clear obvious thing here is that both of their skin lacks any detail. And another thing is sometimes you have to look at the content. She just starts laughing out of nowhere at something nonsensical. That that wasn't funny. There's no humor there. So sometimes it's not just looking but sometimes the audio and the context can give it away. Unless it's just really weird. I wanted to do a video about AI and art, so here it is. This one is not immediately obvious. They, get a, they did a good job with the lighting and the outfit, but what seems a little weird is look at the chimes over there. The bottom part of the chimes rotates and then <laughs> disappears and then comes back. Even something like that, when it's thin, should still be visible, I think. It should just disappear completely. It's not a rival. It's a new collaborator. All right, here we have a bunch of posters on the wall. And if you look at the one that's moving, it looks like an animation of some sort of schematic or blueprint. But why is it moving? Is this some sort of fancy OLED paper? Or projector I doubt it and of course the sounds don't match the actions she puts her hand on her leg and her hand in her pocket and we hear a bunch of paper sounds so that's another thing to look for sometimes the sound does not match the scene the future of art isn't machine or man it's both together all right this one has a good start art gallery looks pretty convincing oh just kidding I'm disappointed as that guy turned, his face became the blurriest face I've ever seen. And look at his watch, super blurry too. And his eyes are also just unrealistic. And his hair is a bit too perfect. We used to dream of machines helping us with all kinds of things. We've all woken up to this. Here we have a man of the future, probably, tinkering with his robot in his workshop. Now the detail that stands out here is that he is using a screwdriver and a screw, finishes it, puts the screwdriver away, but then all of a sudden there's no hole, no screw. What was he using the screwdriver on? That's a continuity error, and that's another thing to look out for. Sometimes artifacts will appear and disappear throughout your eight second AI video clip. So you wanna be a VO3 power user? Here are some tips. All right, here we have a skateboarder dude making a tutorial video. Looks good so far, but I would say look at the background and look at him. Notice how they don't match up very well. It almost looks like he's doing this in front of a blue screen. Look at his pants. The color just keeps changing in the lighting. It's not consistent. 
So look for inconsistent lighting and backgrounds. As your AI, you can ask me to do anything. <laughs> awesome. Can you help me format this essay? Here we have a guy and a gal in a park. Now, what makes this one seem AI? Well, mostly we can see that on his face. The skin on his face lacks any detail whatsoever. It's just too smooth and static. And the same thing with her face. I want to go somewhere expensive. No, no. They say. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll plot a trip to the gas station. All right, now this one is clearly AI because the driver is on the wrong side of the car. Just kidding. You guys are probably thinking, silly American. But the woman's face does look way too shiny and look at the headrest, the lighting on there is not consistent. And when she moves her head, her shadow and the lighting is just off. Inconsistent lighting in the scene. AI in art, yes or no? I don't do it. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah all right here the dead giveaway is text on the microphone who would have thought so with these videos where there's a lot of motion and movement the text is just not gonna stay consistent at least for now so that is the first giveaway and another easy giveaway is that the words that are being said are usually imperfect you might have a few good words and then some nonsense and weird sounds. So, I mean, look, the question was legible, but then her response was just a bunch of sounds. And look, look at her fingers, they're getting blurry too. These people are all AI, so of course they support it. Of course I'm AI too, so. <laughs> all right, and what gives this one away? It's all the clapping. If you're making videos and you want them to seem real, don't have a bunch of people clapping. Don't have a bunch of text and too many details. I mean, look at the hands. They're starting to be all floppy and blurry. They don't look like hands anymore. Do you feel real? Yes or no? Um, does it matter? I mean, our eight seconds is almost up. Here we have another interview. People like to make those interview clips. This is yet another example of the text on the microphone just being weird. And then of course her face is a little too blurry and both of their faces have an unnatural lighting. Well, thanks for watching. I'll be cooking up some more videos for you here real soon. All right, here we have a kitchen. It looks pretty realistic. The cabinets, the countertops, the appliances, everything looks pretty good. Except that text on his shirt. What does that even say? And the most dead giveaway that you'll see pretty often these days is the audio is not perfectly in sync with the video. I mean, his mouth keeps moving at the end, but no words are coming out. Maybe he's nervous. Fun fact, when Canadian geese poop all over a field, that is a goose thing and not a Canadian thing. Here we have what looks like a police officer or something. Not familiar with the uniforms up there in Canada, but he's standing in a field talking to us. And he looks somewhat convincing, but look in the background at those geese. One of the geese disappears into thin air, or maybe it went into another dimension, I don't know. My computer beat me at chess but it was no match for me at kickboxing. Here we have a black belt in some form of martial arts who is wearing his uniform while working at a computer shop, while working at a computer repair shop. Okay, so here, what you can look for is, I mean, look at his eyes. They're bulging, not very natural. And his face is generally a little bit too blurry. And look at his lower lip. It's just bulging in the most unnatural way. So single mistakes aren't always going to tell you a video is AI, but if you piece a few together, then I think you can be certain. The real danger is not the ones that are obviously fake, they might be annoying, but the real danger are ones that mislead a lot of people. So stay curious, look closely, and remember, real life has imperfections. If you wanna play a game where you try to test your skills in detecting AI, Watch this video right here, where you can try to guess real from AI. And of course, subscribe to do more AI exploration like this. See you next video.